When troubleshooting SOLIDWORKS PDM, it is often helpful to collect support information so that we can recreate the vault setup and determine what is the source of the problem. Most of the steps involved will be performed in the PDM administration tool, which you'll need to run as an administrator for best results. It's also recommended to log into your vault with the special admin user if at all possible. Now right click on the vault name and choose collect support information. At this point, you can deselect any items you don't wish to collect right now. In general, the more information you can provide to your support expert, the better chance they have of being able to replicate the exact vault conditions and identify the issue. Collecting the local event logs can take a long time if you have a large event viewer dataset, so you may want to consider exporting these manually and adding them to the zip file that we'll create at the end of the process. There will be a link in the description to a how-to article for exporting application and system logs from Microsoft. Often, issues in PDM are related to specific files or folders, so you can add these items from this screen. There are options for including subfolders as well as old versions of files which may be helpful if you're having problems with transitions, revisions, etc. A SQL backup is also helpful so that we can recreate the vault on our support computers, but you'll need to have your SQL Server login credentials handy in order to complete that step. Alternatively, you may request your IT personnel or administrator to create a backup from within Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. In this screen, you can describe the issue you're experiencing along with any known instructions on how to replicate the issue. The more information you can provide about what has been attempted up to this point, the better. Now choose your file location and file name to save this information to. I prefer to save this in a temp folder that's easily findable, as well as including the current date in the file name to allow for easy identification. The next step is to create an admin export of your vault settings by right-clicking on the vault name in the administration tool and selecting export. Then you can just click the close button in the administrative export file window to bring up the save window and save this file in the same location that you saved the zip file in the previous step. If you chose to create a SQL backup with this tool or you've completed the step using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, it can be added to the zip file that we created. Also, if you choose to export the event viewer logs manually, these can be added to the zip file at this time. By providing this type of PDM support information, you allow us to be as effective as possible in providing unbeatable service to you.